Welcome back to Theme Park Wizarding. Today, well, today is just a Velocicoaster appreciation video, honestly. All these photos are credit to WGW News today. These are some new nighttime photos that they took over the weekend, but again, this is going to be a four and a half minute video of just pure love and appreciation for the Velocicoaster. I've, the more and more I, I watch test runs of this thing, the more and more I see pictures, daytime and nighttime, the more I see videos. I mean, I, if I was in Florida, I'd just buy a one day ticket to Islands of, Islands of Adventure to just watch this thing. I would sit there all day and just watch it. It just looks so gorgeous and universal, massive props. Anyone, if anyone from Universal, the company in general is watching this, but especially if you're from the Velocicoaster team, the creative team, the construction team, if you're any part of the team, major props to you guys are absolutely amazing um, at what you created here. Jurassic Park is one of my favorite franchises ever. I love dinosaurs and my favorite dinosaur is a raptor. So the fact that we have such a beautiful coaster theme to my favorite dinosaur is just amazing. I mean, look at this rock work. I mean, look at that. And then the lighting kind of rhymes with like Radio Springs Racers, how it's lit up at night, and that orange. I love it. But even look at the trains. The trains are just lit up in my favorite color, blue. And yes, a little bit of a blurry picture of the train because it's in motion, but it's so smooth. You can barely hear a sound. Good job, Entman. Entman's part of the Velocicoaster team because, of course, they built the Velocico. They created the track for the Velocicoaster. So, good job, Entman on Hagrid's and the Velocicoaster. Um, this is just incredible. I mean, it's so incredible. I wasn't sure when I was going get, to get back to Orlando. Maybe for the 50th anniversary of Disney World. But, gosh, I'm going to have to go to Orlando this summer just to get on the Velocicoaster. Because it's just, it's just so, it's just, it's just incredible. It is absolutely jaw-dropping to me. It's, I can't believe Universal created such a beautiful ride. Like, And they got so much slack, and rightfully so, for creating screen-based attractions for so many years. And they finally listened to the fans, and they've been, they've been giving out some amazing, amazing, amazing um, rides. Like Hagrid's, mostly practical-based Lost Coaster, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter in general, Super N Nintendo World. Sure, the Mario Kart ride may have been some disappointing, but it has a lot of physical sets and practical effects. Surprising, so that's awesome. I mean, look at this. Look at this of the Lost Coaster. I mean, look at that lighting package. It reminds me of like a whale. That's this particular shot reminds me of like a whale coming up from the ocean. They flip on their back like that. I mean, that's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And the lighting system on the Raptor paddock itself, on the outside gates, you know, how the lights interact with the launches is super, super cool as well. And look at this shot right here. Um, made possible by those lights with those exposure shots. Look at that. I mean, the beautiful top hat. This thing's going to have like a 15 hour long line. It's going to be, it's going to be like that all summer long. I cannot wait till Universal or someone drops the POV of this thing out 100% be doing a breakdown of this POV because I cannot wait to see this <laughs> with all of you. Soft openings hopefully would start pretty soon. Um, spring break's coming up, so I mean, maybe something for annual passers. Maybe it'll be like surprise soft opening. I mean, they're testing four trains a day, four trains a day now at times. I don't know how many test ones they have to do, but four trains a day is a lot, and this is just gorgeous. But comment below if you love the Velocicoaster, you love everything about it, or even, even the, again, there's Raptor animatronics in there and some um, statues and the fire, the entrance looks awesome. I can't wait to see the queue for this thing, but if you love the Velocicoaster, give this video a big, big thumbs up. And comment below, actually, comment below why. What is your favorite part of the Velocicoaster? The theming, the tracks, um, and what part of it, if it's the track, or the layout, what part of the layout, that first part where you kind of go with through some emoments and some inversions through all the rock working over the waterfall, or 
The second, more intense part, we go over the top hat, 70 miles per hour, and over the barrel, and that top, top G stall. That top G stall, um, or Zero G stall, reminds you, just kind of looks like the West Coast Racers one. It just reminds me of that. Every time I see a train go through it, I think of West Coast Racers, but, I mean, that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Let me know what you guys think of this coaster. Comment below your favorite part of the coaster. Again, please definitely like this video. It really helps out. Um, shows YouTube that uh, YouTube loves interaction. So, uh, interact, comment below, like the video, share the video, and show, uh, share this Velocicoaster love with everybody around the world. And until next time, have a great, 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 fantastic night, everybody.